Alright guys, so with that, once again, if you are new here, welcome. My name is Coach Shahira from Master Mats. Today, we are going through Circle's questions. So, let's talk about the very first one. Frostfire, um, the Kahoot that we have, we cannot change the type. That's why I've tried it. Okay? So, I really appreciate your understanding on this. Let's try this first question, okay everyone? Now, this first question is not something that you usually see, but it is very manageable. This is asking you on the radius and diameter. Can you please try the question and type in your answer into the chat? Please try this question and type your answer into the chat. Okay, everybody try now. We want to identify the correct radius and diameter. What is the correct radius and diameter? All right. Hot fella, babe, you are right. Okay, I see quite a number of correct answers. That's very good. This is not quite in P5. Only uh, P6ers will benefit from today's session because we are running through circles that is not covered in P5. But if you would like, you can still stay to listen because it's very, very helpful when you move up to P6 or so, okay? Otherwise, yeah, can for go ahead. All right, so the correct answer is number, 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 number two. You guys are all correct. I don't see anyone typing in the wrong answer. So I'm so proud of all of you. You guys are correct. Excellent job. Now let's run through very quickly uh, in case you are shy and maybe you got it wrong but you didn't type it out. So let me share with you the correct answer here, okay? Why it's number two. Now recap, diameter basically means we are looking at the line that goes from edge to edge passing through the center okay so it has to pass through the center for it to be called the diameter whereas the radius is just from the center to the edge okay therefore if we are looking at the diameter these two lines are the diameters because they pass through the center. Okay, so the correct answer is OE being our radius and FC being our diameter. Okay, so the correct answer is indeed number two. Got it? Okay, how are we doing so far? Not too shabby, right, this question? Okay, if you have gotten this question correct, can you help me spam the like button, please? If you have gotten this question correct, can you help me spam the like button, please? Thank you very much, everyone. Okay, so we are only looking for radius and diameter. Hence, this line here is not what we are interested in. Yeah, This line here doesn't even pass through the center. So we don't have to care about the line BD. Hence, by the process of elimination, as long as it contains BD, it will be out. Okay, BP is also part of BD, hence it will also be out. Okay, everyone? Alright. Okay, thank you for all the likes. I really appreciate it. Okay, before we move on to the next question, can all of you help me type out how your week has been the past week. How was it? And how was your Monday? Was it all good? How many of you are having WA recently? Having a good week? That's great. Okay. That's nice. Ah, you had time to practice. Oh, hi Fur, you are back. <laughs> okay. So we can we can chat up chat each other up um, in between the questions so that we can um, have a little bit more relaxing time instead of just doing math, okay? So if there is anything that you guys want to ask me, please go ahead. Uh, yes, we, you are right, Jasper. There is a mistake in question two. I've already corrected it. I'm going to show you the correct question two in three, two, one. Okay, guys. 
All right. Thank you for sharing how your day has been. Now, question number two, there is an error. Can you please change the options? Okay, can all of you please change the options in question two? For those of you having WA coming up, I hope that you do your best. All the best for you, okay? All right. Have we all eaten dinner, by the way? And how many of you came from booster class? We had a booster class earlier on. If you came from booster class, can you also let me know? Ah, for our P6s, the CCA is ending, right? CCA is ending very soon, right? But don't worry, okay? After the exams, after your um, PSLE, you have a lot of free time, okay? All right. Okay, guys, so let's talk about question number two. Now, question number two here tells us that the figure is made up of a semicircle with a center O and an equilateral triangle of side 8cm. So, my equilateral triangle means... What does equilateral triangle mean? <clears throat> what does equilateral triangle mean? That's nice that you've already eaten. Amir, you are so hardworking. You came straight from Booster. That's very nice. Thank you for your efforts. You don't have to use any secondary formula for this question. Very straightforward. Chicken wings and pizza. Tedious, that's very yummy. Thank you, Danish. Yes, all sides are equal. That's right, Frostfire. By the way, Frostfire, what's your name? Huh? I see you a lot, but I don't know your name. <laughs> Okay, guys, so equilateral triangle means that all sides are equal. And therefore, we know that this, this, and this is also 8. And since this is called the radius, we can straight away find the diameter as well. So we know that the radius is 8. The diameter will be... Can all of you help me type in? What is the diameter of the uh, semicircle? What's the diameter of the semicircle? We know that the radius is 8. The diameter will be double, not half. Huh? The diameter will be double here, hence it will be 16. Very good. Indeed, it is 16. Okay. Alright. So, if the diameter is 16 and the radius is 8, we want to find the perimeter of the figure in terms of pi. In terms of pi. Now, guys, can you tell me for perimeter, are we using pi r square formula or pi d formula? Pi r square or pi d formula? What do you think? For perimeter, are we using pi r square or pi d? Hmm. Pi r square, pi d, pi r square, pi d. Which one is it? Yes, Danish, you are correct. Risky, you are correct also. Indeed, Arash. Yes, everybody, you, you guys are right. For perimeter, we use pi d. Yeah? For the, um, the arc part, we will use the formula pi d. Okay? Alright. So, with that, if we want to find the perimeter, perimeter would just be the arc plus the lines. So, where is the arc? Where is the lines? The arc is here. And the lines are basically the straight lines that make up the outlines of the figure. So, how many straight lines do we see? That will be three. Three sets of eight. Okay? Pi D is the formula to find the circumference of a circle. So, the circumference of a circle, the outline of a circle is pi D. If we want half of it, that would just be half pi d. So the arc is half pi d and the lines is 8 times 3. Alright? So half pi d, that means we are looking at half times. Leave your answer in terms of pi. So we will leave the pi as it is. Multiply in the diameter and then we add the straight lines which is 24. Okay? Straight away you can get the correct answer. That will be 8 pi plus 24. 
All right, everyone, number one. If you got number one, excellent job. You are correct. Okay, number one. Okay. So far, so good, right? Not too difficult, right, for a circle's questions? Okay. Guys, can you help me? I really, really need your help for tonight only. Can you help me spam the like button so that we can reach out to more audience? That will be very helpful for us. Okay? In fact, I'm also going to um, join the live and see what's up with TikTok. Because it seems like our... Um, TikTok seems a bit funny today. Can you help me spam the like button, please? Thank you very much. For our viewers on Instagram as well, thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. If you are learning something and you think the questions are very manageable, can you help me spam the like button, please? Thank you. Alright. How is it so far, guys? Got boost your confidence or not? Got right. Ah, hi Robin. Hot fella babe, I did not do very well for O levels actually. So guys, I give you a story time, okay? Since one of our friends are asking, how did I do for O levels? Actually, I didn't do well for O levels. Um, I didn't manage to get into the school that I wanted to. I know a lot of people will say that. Well, our teacher, you enter JC, what? of course do well. Lah. But actually, based on my past um, grades, I would say that uh, my O-level wasn't as good as um, prelims and the uh, exams before that. But what I'm trying to share with you is that if you don't get to your desired destination at first, just remember that life is continuous. It doesn't stop there. Okay? So if you don't get your desired results, there is always a next time. So just always remember the most important thing in life is to learn from your mistakes and be better after that. That's all. Okay? So I really, really hope you remember that the most important thing in life is to learn from your mistakes because if you, if you always restrict yourself from making mistakes, you will not learn anything. My L1, R5 was... Good question. Uh, 14, I think. 14. But to me, it's not that great. I went to Pioneer JC, but right now it's no longer called Pioneer JC. It's called uh, Jurong Pioneer JC, I think. JP JC. Yeah. Okay, so the rest of you all doing great so far? Can we move on already? Okay. If you think that the two questions are easy peasy, can you please type into the chat great? If you think the questions, the past two questions are easy peasy, can you type into the chat great? Once again, today there's no kahoot. Huh? Today there's no kahoot. We are back to our PDF version because we have some open ended questions to solve later on, okay? Alright. Everybody feeling good? So the, the past two questions are straightforward. Helps us boost our confidence for the next few to come, okay? Alright, let's move on to the next question. For those of you who just joined, welcome. My name is Coach Shahira from Mastermats. We are going through the topic of circles that is very, very relevant for our P6s sitting for the PSLE this year. Okay? If you would like to get your hands on our worksheet, they can be found on our Telegram channel, the link is right at the top. Master Mats PSLE. Right. Okay. Thank you for all the likes. Some of you didn't didn't spam the like button, but you typed in so many heart shapes. I see it. Thank you very much. Okay, shall we move on, everybody? Okay, at any point, if you have any questions, please just type it in. I'm reading as I'm Teaching, yeah? So you can just ask. Today, we cannot have a Kahoot. I'm sorry. Like I mentioned, we are doing open-ended. And our Kahoot doesn't allow us to have open-ended type of questions. Okay? So I really hope that you understand. But don't worry, guys. 
Like I mentioned at the very start, Kahoot is not every week, but we will try to have it uh, more often. Okay? Alright, so let's take a look at question number 3. A and B are two identical wheels of radius 3.5 cm. They each made five revolutions before touching each other. What was the distance between A and B at first? Can all of you try this? Can all of you try this question? This is the last MCQ already. The rest of it is just open-ended, okay? The last MCQ here. Can all of you try this question? We want to find the distance between A and B at first. Okay, so I'm going to give you some hints here, yeah? Okay, I'm going to give you some hints here. The first hint is try to go and look at the word revolution and relate this into math. Now, revolution is an English word. Let's change it into math. What does revolution mean? What do we think? What does revolution mean? What do you think revolution means? Can you all type it in please? What is revolution guys? Hmm, revolution, round, okay. So the wheels are making revolution, so they are making rounds. That means they are very good Danish, they are turning, right? They are making full turns. Therefore, yes, you are right, You when the circle spins, so, if we are looking at revolution, basically, one revolution, I'm just going to use REV for short, yeah? One revolution means one complete turn. Now, what do you think we are looking at when we talk about turns? Are we looking at the circumference or are we looking at the area inside? Circumference or area when we are talking about turning? Are we interested in the circumference or are we interested in the area? Yes, we are rolling it. So when we roll, what is the thing that is rolling? Is it um, the circumference that we are interested in or is it the area? Right? I think quite a number of you have gotten it right. For one complete turn, it is the outside of the circle that touches the ground as it rolls. Therefore, one complete turn means we are looking at one circumference. Hence, we are looking at the formula pi d. One revolution means one complete turn, which means one circumference, which means we are looking at pi d, okay? So everybody try this question without using a calculator. You try. And I want you to type your answer in the chat. Danish, don't forget to label where the turn starts and where the turn ends. Danish, double check. Okay, everybody try. Number seven, you are correct. What's your name, number seven? Okay, we have uh, far na 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 na. <laughs> far na 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 na. Can you please try again? I'm going to give you another hint, yeah? When you are rolling, where do you start rolling? Where do you end your rolling? Okay. Sure, uh, Zik, am I saying it right? Okay, risky, try again. We are looking at pi d. Five revolutions means five pi d, right? Okay, five revolutions means five pi d. Okay. Fees, you try again, fees. Fees, Jeff, you try again. If your answer is not on the screen, means your answer might be wrong, yeah? So you double check, okay? Uh, I, I have a few um, differing answers. I have a few differing answers. Shall I go through now or you still want me to wait? Are you all still trying? Shafiq, please try again. The answer is not number two, okay? The answer is not number two. Try again. Alright, I'm going to give you five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, 
one. Okay, so let's go through this question. All right, so when we talk about revolution, what's important is looking at where the circle starts its turn and where it ends its turn, okay? So if we look at A, A starts from the point that it touches the ground, which is this point here. This is where A starts from, okay? And on the other side, once it stops turning, it will stop here. This is where it touches the ground. Therefore, when we are looking at our five revolutions, it is from here to here only. This is our five revolutions. Okay, can everybody understand? So far can follow? Okay. So when it starts rolling, right, the point that it touches the ground is this point. And then once it rolls and ends, this is where it touches the ground. Therefore, from the start to the end, it is only this part that is the five revolution, yeah? Okay? So, on the other side, we can do the same thing. On the other side, where it starts and where it ends, this is our five revolutions. But you notice, based on our diagram, there is a missing part here. So, how much is this missing part? How much is this missing part? Okay? Try this. How much is this missing part? You try again for those of you who, got, who have gotten it wrong. Try again and then check whether your answer is still the same. Okay, everybody try again. Risky, you are right. <clears throat> okay? Alright. Now more and more of our friends are getting it right. Now because the radius is 3.5, we want to look for diameter since we are looking at pi d. So if radius, I'm going to write it at the side here. If radius is 3.5, diameter will be double to give us 7. Okay? Hence, this part, I'm going to zoom it a little bit more for you guys. These two parts here, we have radius and radius. Okay, radius and radius to give us a diameter. Got it, everybody? Radius and radius to give us a diameter. Okay? Got it? So, the answer is number 3. How do we get number 3? Well, we just take 10 revolutions, which is 10 pi d, plus diameter. So, the distance is 10 revolution plus the diameter. Hence, we are looking at 10 pi d plus another diameter. That's 10 times 22 over 7 times 7 plus another 7. Okay? Cancel, cancel. We should get 220 plus a 7. Hence, our answer will be 227. Okay? Cancel, cancel. We should get 220 plus 7 to give us 227. Let me finish writing and then I am going to check if you guys still need any explanation. Okay, the answer is indeed number 3, 227. If you got 227, congratulations, you are right. Okay. Any questions, guys? How are we doing so far? Who don't understand? Oh, you cannot raise your hand. <laughs> Who don't understand? If you don't understand, can you please... If you don't understand, can you please type into the chat, me? It's okay, Zik, that's fine. If you don't understand, guys, can you help me type into the chat, me? Okay, Bobby doesn't understand. Bobby, let me explain it to you, okay? For those of you who don't understand but you are very shy, please don't worry, I will explain one more time, okay? Ah, Cristiano Ronaldo, CR7 also don't understand. Okay, if you don't understand, I explain one more time, okay? So how I like to explain this is using Humpty Dumpty. Everybody knows who Humpty Dumpty is, right? Right? You all know what's Humpty Dumpty, right? Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. The kind of Humpty Dumpty. So let's imagine this circle here is Humpty Dumpty. Okay, Humpty Dumpty is very fat. So imagine Humpty Dumpty roll down a hill. Okay, or maybe Humpty Dumpty is walking. Now because Humpty Dumpty is very fat, those of you who don't know Humpty Dumpty, please go and <laughs> relieve your childhood. Humpty Dumpty is an egg. It's a very fat egg, okay? 
Humpty Dumpty. So, let's think about Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty very fat. Now, if you're very fat, right, okay, and you are walking, if you're very fat and you're walking, when you are walking, you are looking at your legs. So, your legs is the one that controls the amount that you have walked, the distance. That's why when we look at the circle, we look for the legs of the circle, the part that touches the floor, from here to here. Understand? Okay, so Humpty Dumpty is walking, walking, but we are looking at the legs, not the stomach in front, not the backside behind, okay? We are just looking at Humpty Dumpty, the legs here, from the floor to the floor. Because the circle made five revolutions, we know that from the floor, Humpty Dumpty walk, 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 all the way until the end here, that is five revolutions, okay? So this part, five revolutions. So Humpty Dumpty's boyfriend on the other side, ah, also a, another Humpty Dumpty, walk, 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 reach this part from the start of the floor to the other um, end of the floor. Okay, the legs, ah. the legs start here and there, that's five revolutions. Okay, but we have a problem. When two Humpty Dumpty's meet, ah, <laughs> so many eggs there I see. When two Humpty Dumpty's meet, when two fat um, eggs or bowls meet, right, even though they, uh, they stop here, their stomach already see each other. They already need point. Both of the stomach reach, right? Both of the stomachs touch. So, even if they stop here, we still need to account for this distance where the stomach is touching. So, this stomach distance from the floor to this point here is what we call the radius. Okay? So, we have radius and another radius. So, from the start, where the floor is to the other floor, that's in total 10 revolutions plus 2 radius, which gives us a diameter. 2 radius gives us a diameter. Okay, everybody? So, that's how we get the distance, which is 10 revolutions plus diameter. Clearer now? Everybody understand? Hi, Isreen. Okay, so many eight comments. <laughs> Everybody clearer now? So again now, when you are walking, you got a stomach in front, you got a backside behind. But when you are walking, it's your leg that's moving. So you got to look for where the leg touched the floor. Okay, where the leg touched the floor. Okay, everybody focus, yeah? Where the leg touched the floor. Then once you meet, your stomach reach first, but your legs never reach yet. Too short, cannot, leap, cannot reach. But you must still account for the distance, which is diameter. Okay, everybody? Alright, so that's how we get 10 revolutions plus a diameter. Okay? Alright, guys, let's move on. Thank you, Ronaldo. The Ronaldo toilet explode. <laughs> what a funny name. Okay, okay. Let's stop talking about uh, Humpty Dumpty anymore. Let's move on to the next question. Everybody good? <laughs> Thanks, Xenex Clan. Let's move on to question number four. Okay, question number four. Ah, is this PSLE math? Yes, this is. Shalis, well done. So fast. Let's move on to question four, guys. Now, the question is showing us a circle and a smaller square enveloped in a larger square. Okay? Now, the area of the larger square is 100 cm square. We want to find the area of the smaller one inside. Okay? Alright? So, let's find the area of the smaller square. Okay? Guys, let's focus. Enough already. Let's focus. Alright, so how to find the area of the smaller square? Charlie's got it right. Um, I have no idea how to pronounce your name. I know. <laughs> Sorry. But yes, you are correct. Very good, Arash. You got it right. Okay, now for those of you who don't know how to solve the question, if you've got area of square, which is 100, you can do one step. The very first step. Huh? The very first step is to find the length of the square. So let's find the length of the square here. How much is this? 
do I take 100 divided by 2? Hmm. Russell, you are right. How do we find this? How do we find the length of the large square? Ah, so many of you have typed in 10. You are right. Excellent. Danish, excellent job. We indeed take the square root. So let's do square root of 100. That is going to give us 10. So this means that this part is 10. So if this part is 10, what do you call this part? What is the name of this part? Do we know what's the name? What is the name of this part in relation to the circle? In relation to the circle, this is called our diameter. Excellent. Those of you typing diameter, well done. So we know that the length of the square is 10, but this is also equal to the diameter of the circle. Alright, the diameter of the circle. Now, this is our diameter, edge to edge. So, from edge to edge, edge to edge, edge to edge, from edge to edge, passing through center, uh, sorry, passing through center, we know that the diameter is 10. Now, how is the diameter related to the smaller square inside? How is the diameter related to the smaller square inside? How is the diameter related to the smaller square inside? The diameter is also called the watt of the square. Also starts with a D. Hmm, Michelle, you're right. It starts with a D. The diameter is also related to the square by via the diagonal. This is also called the diameter. Everybody agree? This is also called the diameter. So if I were to circle the circle for you, <laughs> circle the circle, huh? If I were to circle the circle for you, we realize that the diagonal is also called the diameter, right? So if we cannot find the area of the square via length times length, we can cut it into two triangles, okay? So basically, just cut it into two triangles, then you have the diameter, and then you have the radius. That's all. Simple? Simple or not, everybody? So basically, you can turn it, into a diamond or you just cut it into two triangles okay so the shaded square the shaded square is equals to two triangles and the two triangles are half times diameter times radius this is my base and this is my height can follow everybody understand so we can cut this into two triangles instead of just length times length, okay? So this is the same as the two and the half cancel each other out, yeah? Two times half is just one. So this becomes... This becomes diameter times radius. So diameter is 10, radius is 5. This will give us 50. That's all. So simple. Final answer, 50 cm square, okay? Notice how for this question, even though we see a circle, uh, they didn't say take pi equal something. They never say take pi equal 3.14 or 22 over 7 or whatever. So you know for sure if they never give you pi value, you know you don't need to use pi value. Okay? Alright. Bye, of Becky. Bye, Becky. Yes, 50 is correct. Very good. So final answer, 50 cm square. Okay? So basically, I find the shaded tri uh, square by turning it into two triangles. Okay, guys? First fire, what's so crazy? How? How's it crazy? Everybody okay? Got mind blown or not? Very interesting, right? So you don't have to find length times length. You can change it into two triangles. Okay? Yes, Frostfire, what is your question? 100 divided by 2 times 2 will give us 100 back again. So no. The answer is 50, not 100. Huh? 100 divided by 2 and then times 2 is still 100 back again. Okay, I'm going to repeat this one more time. Step 1, find the length of the uh, big square, which is 10. And 10 is also the diameter. Okay, this is the diameter. 
Now, for the, for the circle, the diameter is any edge to any edge passing through center. So this is also called the diameter of the circle. Now, if this is the diameter of the circle, this will be the radius. So the square will be half times diameter times radius and then times 2 because there are two triangles. Okay? Alright, so this one usually, uh, where, where is it um, appearing in? This would usually be in paper 1 booklet B. Paper 1 booklet B. Okay, if you find it easy, that's fantastic. If you don't find it easy, I hope you remember. I'm going to write this learning point. Uh, this learning point. For squares inside a circle, consider... Um, breaking into two triangles instead. Okay, consider breaking into two triangles instead. Alright, for those of you who still don't understand, once more, then we've got to move on already. Once more, I'm going to take this away. Okay, once more, my circle has a diameter of 10. Because the area is 100, so that must be 10 times 10. So if this is 10, this is also 10. Now this is also 10 because it's a diameter. I shift, I will still get 10. Okay? If I were to shift this, I will still get 10. Because it is a, um, it is a diameter. Okay? So if this is a diameter, that means this part must be the radius. Because my center is right over here. Okay, that's my center. So I can sh break it down into two triangles and then take half times diameter times radius and then multiply that by two. Okay? Alright, guys? All good? Okay, the diameter is the same as the diagonal, correct? Let me write it down for you as well. The diameter of the circle... Diameter of circle is also equal to diagonal of inner square. Okay? That is why we can take diameter times radius to give us the shaded square. Got it? Okay, if you are good, let's move on. Thank you very much. Okay, whatever you want to do next week, you can type it in. Okay, I will make a note and then um, we will consider doing those, okay? Got it, everybody? Alright, now, for those of you who just came in, once again, welcome. My name is Coach Shahira. And let me just share this once again with you guys. Next, not next, tomorrow. <laughs> it's tomorrow, huh? Tomorrow, we are going to have a PSLE webinar. This webinar, although it's titled PSLE Maths and Science, although it's titled PSLE Maths and Science, it is open to essentially anybody who's sitting for exams, okay? We will cover very, very useful exam tips and strategies. How to um, study properly, how to revise, how to do proper revision, how to combat exam stress, how to combat exam fog, things like that, okay? So, um, this is completely free. If you would like, please join us at mastermatch.com.sg slash achieve PSLE Maths Breakthrough. Okay? Alright. A lot of you are asking for so many things. There's algebra, there's volume, there's uh, pie charts. There's even, what is this? Let's see. Oops. There's even uh, angles. Okay, I will try to cover uh, maybe one of those topics mentioned, okay? But don't worry, along the way we will learn a lot of all those topics, so don't worry, okay? Alright guys, all good? Okay, thank you very much. Once again, if you just joined, my name is Coach Shahira. We are going through PSLE Maths on Circles, a revision on Circles. We are at question 5 out of 8 questions. We are at question 5 out of 8. If you would like to get your hands on our worksheet, they can be found here at Mastermatch PSLE. Okay? Alright guys, so let's take a look at question 5. Now question 5 is 
super duper interesting. Question 5 is very interesting. It requires vi uh, spatial visualization. Okay, this one again in paper 1. Paper 1, that's literally only one step. It okay, give you a hint, huh? one step only. One step only. One step only. You try. How do we find the perimeter of the shaded parts? Uh, how many of you find this tough? Ah, some of you did this before. If you did this before, check to see if you can redo this question without any hints, without any uh, reference. Okay? That means that you have already mastered this technique, which is great. Cut into half, not necessary. Okay, we are going to do something called... We are going to do something called... Comparing sides or comparing length, okay? I am going to compare um, lengths. Okay, I'm going to compare lengths. Ah, quite a number of you already know how to do, which is fantastic. Now, if you don't know what to do, I am going to highlight this for you, okay? So, the shaded parts, we have this and this. And then at the bottom, we have this and this. And then we have the one at the top, which is this and that. Okay, this is the ones at the top. This guy and this guy. Okay, so these are our perimeter of shaded parts. How do we find them? How do we find the perimeter of the shaded parts? What do we do? There is no... Um, there is no... What do you call that? There is no decimal in this answer. Actually, there is decimal. What am I saying? There is decimal, but the decimal is not a point 0.1. No. So, uh, true flame, you are not correct. You try again. Okay. Try again. We are comparing lengths. Okay. Now, um, Danish, and for those of you who are thinking about common shaded regions like half leaf, la, boomerang, la, those are usually for areas. For areas. For this one, we are not looking at area, only perimeter. We are comparing lengths instead. Yeah. Okay, so let me share with you on how to solve this question. All you got to do is compare the green and the purple side. When we look at the ones that I've highlighted in blue, uh, the green and the purple side. Now, how is it related to the circle? How is it related to the circle? The green and the purple side. So all I got to do is to shift this out. And shift this out. Now, the ones that I'm going to highlight here is exactly the same as the one outside that is related to the circle. Agree? So, all I got to do is to relate it to the circle. This is what I will get in green. And this is what I will get in purple. Can everybody understand? Okay, let me use dotted to show you guys. Huh? This all will be dotted. Okay, to show you that this green one, I shift out, I will get this part. The purple one, I shift out, I will get this part. So I'm comparing the length and I realize it's the same. Okay? Very good, Arash, you are correct. And then on the other side, I can do the same thing. On the other side, I can do the same thing. Basically, the green will be shifted out to form this part. And the purple will be shifted out, oopsies, to form this part. Can understand? Sorry, yeah, they are supposed to touch here. Okay? Therefore, therefore, the thing that you are looking for is just the full circle. That's all that you are looking for. Understand? Correct. Just find the full circle. You are right. Uh, Jasma, you are correct. Very good, Danish. 
Yes, it does make a full circle indeed. Okay, it makes a full circle, that's all. Alright, so you can, you can think about this like a cut and paste, but we are more so comparing the length. Okay, we are comparing the length. Cut and paste is usually for areas. Cut and paste is usually for areas. So what we are doing here is comparing the length. Realize that the inside one is the same as the outside one. Okay, the inside one is the same as the outside one. So then it makes a full circle. Hence, the perimeter will be the circumference of the circle. And the circumference will be pi d, so pi times diameter. Now the pi is 3.14, diameter is 30. You are just going to get 94.2. Okay, 94.2 indeed. 94.2 cm. Because it is perimeter, Hence, it will be 94.2 cm. Okay? Now, for those of you who don't understand, I'm going to take away all the colours. Maybe it's confusing you. Okay? I'm going to repeat one more time. Huh? The perimeter of the shaded part. This one here in blue. This one here in blue and this one here in blue can be shifted to form the one in red. Okay? Basically, they are the same. On the other side, also correct, they are the same. Therefore, when you want to find these parts, this, 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 this and that, it is the same as finding the full circle's circumference. That's all. Okay? Got it? Alright, guys? Yep. So, for this session, right, we are not looking at many, many difficult questions. We are just looking at how we um, shift certain things, how to visualize the, the question to make it a little bit more easier to understand. Okay? Everybody got it? So, all you got to do is one step, pi d, pop, settle. Okay? If you are enjoying it so far and you think that the questions are not that difficult, you are able to get it, can you please help me spam the like button? Thank you very much. For now, any questions? Any questions from anyone? If not, we have three more to go. The next three questions are also not difficult. Okay, very short steps, about one to two steps each only. Okay? Some of you want me to do speed. Okay, I will get it uh, covered soon as well. Maybe not the next lesson, but next one, okay? Uh, next few ones. Um, we can finish it in the next maybe 10 minutes. We try. Alright. Okay, if you are ready, let's move on to the next one. Question number 6. Question number 6. Give me a second. Huh? Question number 6. Why is this here? Okay, question number six. The figure shows four identical circles in a square. The length of the square is 28 cm. Find the area of the shaded part. So how do we, how do we find the area of the shaded part? How do we solve it? A few more questions, okay class? The next few questions are very short and sweet as well. Okay? Alright, how do we find the area of the shaded part? Now, this is where we look at, this is where we look at common shaded region. Common shaded region. So, what is the common shaded region here? The common shaded region, do we know the name of this thing? What is the name of this thing here? What is it called? Uh, ben, you are correct. What is the name of this thing here? It's called a... Starts with a B. It's called a boomerang. It is called a boomerang. 
So basically, we want to find four boomerangs in this question. Okay, we want to find four boomerangs. Okay, we want to find four boomerangs, correct? So, to find four boomerangs, we can focus on one, but what I'm going to do is, we are going to use the idea of cut and paste. I think some of you have typed into the chat and you guys are getting it already. So, to do cut and paste, we are just... <laughs> we are just going to cut the uh, four boomerangs and put it together outside of one circle only. Okay? So far can follow. Quite a number of, of you are getting the correct answer. Very good. So yes, uh, just, just more you are correct. The four parts form a square and a circle. So basically, I'm going to zoom into just this portion. This square here with this circle, I'm going to just zoom into this one. And then all I've got to do is shift and shift and shift. Okay, so I'm going to shift this here, shift this here, and shift this inside here. Everybody understand? Can follow so far? Okay. Now, first of all, we know that the length of the square is 28. So, if this is 28 cm, this part here would be 14 cm. Agree? It will be 14. So, if I do cut and paste, essentially what I'm getting is this one over here where each of the side is 14 cm. So, this portion is 14 cm. Okay, so essentially all I got to do is look at the sh uh, smaller square and take square minus circle, that's all. Okay, everybody? So I'm just zooming this in. Uh. This is what I will get. Okay? So we have this diameter, uh, not diameter, we have this portion here, which is the length of the square 28. Hence, the diameter of the circle is 14. Now, if the diameter is 14... We can write down the two things that we need. Diameter is 14, radius will then be 7. So to find the shaded portion, we are just taking square minus circle. The square is 14 times 14. The circle is pi r square. And that will be 22 over 7 times 7 times 7. You should get 196 minus 154 to give you 42. Okay, 196 minus 154 to give you 42 cm square. Everybody good? I think quite a number of you have gotten 42. Excellent. Okay. Alright, everybody. So this question is very short and sweet, huh? We just take square, 14 times 14, minus circle. 22 over 7 times 7 times 7, that's all. Okay? All good? So you don't have to look for one boomerang and then multiply by 4. You can combine all together to form such a figure, which is a square minus a circle, that's all. Okay? It is indeed 42. Everybody good? Okay. Alright, any questions so far? Alright, now um, there is a comment that is asking me to do leave question. We don't have a leave question here. But, let me share with you. Basically, leave is just quarter circle minus away a triangle. Okay, to get a leave, it's just a quarter circle minus a triangle. Can't seem to draw my leaf. Okay. okay, to get a leaf, it's just quarter circle minus triangle. For those of you who are wondering, uh, this is also another common shaded region. Let me shift for you to see. This is also another common shaded region. It's called a leaf. And to get this leaf, you are just taking the quarter circle minus away the triangle. Okay? Alright, all good. You can find the shaded part, each shaded part, and then you times 4, that's fine. But it's going to be long-winded. 
This one, you only pop, pop, finish. That's all. Two shapes, minus, that's all. A little bit faster, yeah? Okay, guys, let's move on to question seven. Can I go on already? All good? Okay, any questions so far? Okay. All right. And no, I do not teach secondary. I focus on primary. But our centre do have secondary lessons. Tomorrow will be the secondary um, life class. Secondary life class tomorrow at 7.30, okay? Alright guys, let's move on. For those of you who are new, welcome. My name is Coach Shahira from Master Maths. We are down to our final few questions in our circles worksheet. In fact, two more questions only. And then... We are good to go. If you would like to catch up on our live classes, you can watch them on Master Maths TV. Okay, you can watch the replay at Master Maths TV. Hi, Team Nuevo. Okay, guys, next question. Okay, chop chop curry pop. This question, we want to find the area of the shaded parts. Take pi equals 22 over 7. There is a technique to solve this. Once you see that technique, you only need one step to solve this question. One step only. Very simple one step. Okay? One step. Only what is that one step to solve this question? Hmm. Then you are correct. What about the rest? How's it going so far? 616 not quite right, you try again. We only need one step, guys. What is the technique to solve this question? What is the technique to solve this question? Any ideas? Half triangle, half of a triangle. Does this look like half of a triangle? Hmm, starts with a C. How is it one step? I will show you very quickly huh, how it's one step. It starts with a C. You got to draw one line. And once you draw one line, you do this idea called cut and paste. Okay? So all I got to do is to draw one line. I'm going to draw the line out for you. Huh? I am going to draw one nice line here. And then all I got to do is cut and paste. Okay, this is another cut and paste question. Cut and paste is a very, very popular um, visualization technique. So what do I cut and where do I paste it? That is the question. Once you're able to do that, okay, once you're able to do that, you should solve this question easily. Okay? Very good. Are we getting it? Okay, so basically, all I got to do is shift this inside here. And all I got to do is find the area of this triangle. Okay? That is how I solve this question using cut and paste in just one step. One step only. So how to do the one step? Half times base times height. We know that AC has a diameter 28. So, if diameter is 28, radius will be 14, right? So, we know that the base is 28. The height is 14. Oopsies. The height here will be 14. Therefore, all you got to do is find the area of the triangle, half base height. That's it. One step. Okay, so half times 28 times 14, that should give you 196. Shaded equals to triangle, which is half times base times height to give you 196. Everybody good? So final answer, 196 cm squared. One step right. Remember I told you one step only? Uh, so this is a cut and paste question. That's right, no need to find circle. Okay, this is a cut and paste question. You don't even need to care about the circle. Easy, right? Mm. So again, this is what we call a cut and paste uh, technique. I cut this thing and I paste it inside. That's all. Okay. Okay, 
we don't have to find the circle at all. All good. <laughs> Why is the base 28? Because the question says, isosceles right angle triangle. Isosceles means, highlight this part for you. Huh? Isosceles means two sides are equal, right? This side is equal to this side. Okay, my right angle triangle here, they are isosceles. So if this is 28, below also 28, okay? Got it? Alright guys, isosceles means two sides are equal, yeah? Fantastic. Oh, I see so many um, crying emojis. Is it because you didn't manage to get this previously? Well, I hope that uh, this sort of opens up your mind to doing more cut and paste techniques, okay? Alright, are we ready for the last one? All good? Okay. This one equation, very fun, right? Okay, if you're enjoying this, guys, can you help me spam the like button, please? It will really, really help us. Thank you so, so much. How are we doing so far? Got energy for the last one or not? Last one already. How's it so far? All good? Thank you, Zeke. Okay, we are moving, down, uh, move, moving on to the last question. Last question number eight. Okay. Last question number eight. Cut and paste is indeed a good method. Indeed. Ah, Risky. Risky says that he has not showered yet. Why you go and expose yourself to so many of us? <laughs> okay, guys. So we are looking at a cut and paste question. I'm oh, sorry, not cut and paste. Uh, sorry, overlapping. This is overlapping question. Two overlapping identical semicircles, each with diameter 20 cm. The area of the shaded part is 55. So we know inside here, 55 cm square. How do we find the area of PQRST? Now when they say PQRST, what it means is we are looking for the whole figure. Okay, PQRST is the same as the whole figure. So, how do we find the whole figure? How do we find the area of the whole figure? Any ideas? Even if you don't know how to solve, uh, guys, you should be able to get one step and one mark at least. What is that one step? What shape you see here? What should you find? What shape do you see? What should you find? What shape do you see? What should you find? Indeed, Bobby, you see two semicircles, so you look for the semicircle, that's all. So step one, you find the semicircle, okay? Even if you don't know how to solve, just go and find the semicircle, that's all. Okay? So the semicircle area, in fact, I see two of them. Area of two semicircle, I use SC for short, yeah? Is half pi r square so that's half times and then i got a times two huh? so that's half times pi 3.14 times radius now if diameter is 20 radius will be 10 therefore times 10 times 10 and then times 2 why times 2 because there are two semicircles okay why times 2 because there are two semicircles now, the half and the two cancel each other out. We are going to get 3, 1, 4. Okay, this part, I'm going a bit fast because it's just applying formula only, yeah, guys? So, we will get 3, 1, 4 here. Okay, I'm going a bit fast because we are only applying formula, that's all. Got it? The answer should not, whoopsie, sorry, should not be greater than 3, 1, 4. Okay, the answer should not be greater than 314. Okay? So now that we have this, what do we do? All you gotta do is find, I want whole figure, huh? find portion A, find portion, uh, once you find portion A, 
whole figure is A plus B plus C, that's all. Whole figure is A plus B plus C, that's all. Okay? Therefore, to find portion A, you take 314 minus 55. And then, you add the semicircle. So, whole figure equals to, let me write down, uh, 314 minus 55. Okay? You should get your answer. 314 minus 55. Okay? No need to times 2 anymore because we already times 2. The answer will be 259 cm square. Got it? 259 cm square. That's all. No need to times 2 because here we already times 2. We already times 2 here. 2 semicircles. Okay? How many of you don't understand 259? Don't know how you got 259? Anyone don't know? Why we don't need to plus 55 is because... Show you, ah. Uh, I write using letters for you, okay? So I'm going to call this A, B, and C. Alright, I'm going to call this A, B, and C. I use a different color to help you see easily. We call this A, we call this B, we call this C. Now, for whole figure, I want A plus B plus C. Whole figure is A plus B plus C, right? When I take two semicircles, I'm taking A plus B plus B plus C. I got two Bs. I don't want two Bs. So, I take away one of the B. Okay? To get my whole figure, which is just A plus B plus C, I need to remove one of the Bs. Clear? Everybody understand now? Okay, so one more time, one more time, semicircle is A plus B, another semicircle is B plus C. So we got A, B, B, C. I don't want two Bs because they are overlapping. I don't want two Bs. I only want whole figure is what I see. Whole figure is what I see, so that's A plus B plus C. So I want to get rid of one of them, which means I take away 55. That's all. Clear, everybody? Alright, how are we doing so far? Any questions? Okay, if you have no questions and you have made it till this part, I am going to give you a little treat. Okay, I am going to give you a little treat. Are we ready? Okay, well, if you are my students, you should already have this um, you, I, have, I have already shared this with you in our classes, but I'm going to give you a little treat for those of you who are not in my regular class. Let me share with you your thought process when you are doing circles question. Okay? Let's share the thought process to solve circles question. Are we ready? Okay. So, to solve a circles question... Let me just quickly show you. There we go. Okay, so when you solve a circle's question, guys, this is your thought process. Can you see at the side here? Let me take this down. And maybe what you can do is give this a screenshot. Okay, what you can do is give this a screenshot. This is the little treat that I wanted to share with you. Basically, what we do here is this. Huh? When we see a circle's question, the very first thing we do is to list down all the radius and diameter of the different parts of a circle. Okay? We list down the radius and diameter of all the different parts. If we see semicircle, we see quarter circle, we see full circle, all different sizes, you list down all the radius, diameter, radius, diameter, radius, diameter. You list it down. Okay? Then after that, I'm going to zoom in for you guys. Huh? After that, oopsies, you can see it all. Okay, here. So after you list down all the radius and diameter of the different parts, you write out a plan. The plan today, um, we didn't quite write it out. In fact, we only verbalize it. Like just now we did a circle minus square. Those are your plan. Huh? Circle minus square or... Um, uh, quarter circle minus triangle, those are your plans, okay? 
Then, once you can come up with a plan, bingo, just look for all those things that you need. But if you cannot come up with a plan directly, you look for common shaded regions first, which is boomerang or half leaf, things like that. Okay, boomerang or half leaf, things like that. But if you don't see any of those, no boomerang, no half leaf, okay, you screenshot and then you enlarge the photo, okay? No boomerang, no half leaf, what to do? You go and look for all of these things. Whether you can do cut and paste, whether you can do cutting into smaller unique shapes, like many, many little tiny triangles or tiny squares. Or you go and look for drawing lines to simplify the figure. Remember just now, we had a triangle question. We just draw a line, cut and paste to help us find um, the area of triangle. That's all. Yeah? And then you also do comparing sides or lengths or areas. These are all your thought process. If I cannot do cut and paste, okay, next. Think about cutting into smaller unique shapes. Cannot cut into smaller unique shapes. Okay, next. Think about drawing lines. If cannot draw any lines, okay, next. Compare the sides or lengths or areas. Cannot compare sides or lengths or areas. Okay, next. We look at overlapping figures. And this overlapping figure, we use ABC label method, which I showed you earlier. Okay? So these are your thought processes when you do a circles question to help you simplify a very complex question easily. Okay, everybody? All right. Okay, thank you so much for all your likes. I see it. Wow. Yes, I can share with you through a soft copy in our answers. Um, when we share the answers, I will also include this in. Okay, guys? All right. Okay? Okay. How are we going so far? Do you all enjoy this? Is this helpful for you? And do you think that uh, the questions today were good? Got give you confidence booster or not? Hmm. So I do, or we do go live. We go live every Tuesdays at 7.30 p.m. for primary math. For secondary math, we go live. I'm going to come back into the frame, yeah? For primary math, we go live every um, Tuesdays at 7.30. Primary science is Mondays at 7.30. And for secondary math is Wednesdays at 7.30, okay? You can get the worksheets on our Telegram channel. I show you again. The Telegram channel has all the past worksheets as well. So the Telegram channel is here, Mastermats PSLE. Okay, usually we try to keep it within one and a half hours, but sometimes we may extend like for today. Okay, so many interesting things to talk about for circles. That's why we extend a little bit, yeah? So you can get your worksheet on our Telegram channel at Mastermats PSLE. Over there, I will share with you all of this answer key as well as just now piece of um, notes. Okay, this one. I will also share this with you. Okay, guys? Alright. Okay. Do you want um, another little treat? Maybe we can talk about that treat um, when we talk about area and perimeter. Okay? I will share you. I will share with you another treat on overlapping regions when we look at area and perimeter. Okay, guys? So with that, I will end today's session. For those of you who have stayed all along, so far, so good. I hope you have no other questions. If you have, please uh, go on and type it out. I will stay here to answer some questions, whether it's related to math or not. We are going to stay for maybe about five more minutes. Okay? If you are all good, you got no other questions, then I will see you guys again next week. Okay, everybody? Thank you. Good night. Have a good rest. Remember to sleep well, eat well, and please drink a lot of water. It's very hot these days. Okay? All right. Thank you, everybody. Good night. If you have questions, I'm going to stay here for a bit more. I went to Pioneer JC. It's no longer called Pioneer JC now. It's called um, Jurong Pioneer JC. Yes, tomorrow no school. Oh, yes, tomorrow no school. Indeed. I will see you tomorrow also. Thank you, Arash. I went to Jurong Secondary School. But I don't stay in Jurong anymore. I went to Jurong Secondary School. Bye, Tedious. Christy, 
Jean, I hope that this is very helpful. It's a thought process. I will share with you the PDF on our Telegram channel, okay? See you tomorrow, Risky. I do not teach science. Unfortunately, I have no interest in teaching science. Bye, Cherise. Jurong View Secondary School is very near the Jurong Polyclinic. Am I right to say that? Or did they move already? I'm not so sure. Bye. See you tomorrow. Okay, any other questions regarding any questions that we have gone through? You want me to go back to any questions? No? Bye, Zeke. See you. My dream job is teaching, actually. I enjoy teaching a lot. I am ending this in about maybe two more minutes. Is NUS High a good school? I guess it is based on its name. I'm not so sure. But apparently every school is a good school. So <laughs> We will cover algebra maybe sometime in the next few lessons. Okay, In the next few live classes. Bye. Okay, bye-bye. Good night, everybody. I will end in about five, four, three more seconds. We do live at 7.30 p.m. Every Tuesday, 7.30 p.m. <laughs> That's what the government say. So I have to say the same thing. Number patterns. Uh, cut and paste my best method. I wouldn't say that it's a best method. I'm just... Uh, sharing that it's very very useful but sometimes cut and paste may not work so that's why we go through other methods like um, drawing lines to simplify the figure comparing the sides or even uh, overlapping regions the ABC label method so there's all these methods at your fingertips that you can use depending on the question just that cut and paste is very popular very very popular okay Can you use algebra to do circles? Well, if you realize, let me go back to the worksheet, okay? If you realize, whenever they ask us to leave in terms of pi, that is essentially algebra already. Leave in terms of pi, where is the question? Here. Essentially, it's like algebra already. Like leaving your answer in terms of x, in terms of y, in terms of z. In terms of pi, is like algebra. Does that answer your question, Bobby? Okay, the rest anything else? If not, I'm going to leave already. Thank you for your all your likes tonight. 20,000 likes, that's a lot. Thank you, everybody. I will see you guys again next week, okay? 7.30 p.m., same time, same day, same teacher, which is me. I will see you tomorrow as well for those of you who are coming and joining our webinar. If you got no other questions, I hope you guys can sign up for the webinar. I will see you guys tomorrow, okay? Alright, good night everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.